How much would it cost to build a house? Or construct a highway bridge? Or repair a road? You know, that road with endless potholes. In fact, how much does it cost to do anything in construction? As you would expect, there are many recognised methods for cost estimation. The method used will vary depending on the quality of available data and the level of project definition. However, they all share the same goal, to establish the anticipated final cost of a project. In this video, we're going to investigate the different estimation methods available, how they work and when they should be used. As you would expect, the estimated cost for a project becomes more accurate as design becomes more detailed, and as a result, the chosen method will likely change as a project evolves. The scale and complexity of a project will also affect the quality of cost data available. Repeatable projects will have more reliable benchmarks and cost data opposed to more bespoke one-of-a-kind projects which may lack reliable data. This figure, produced by the Infrastructure Projects Authority, shows how the estimation method may evolve as the project progresses. Project estimating can be split into two camps, top-down estimating and bottom-up estimating. Top-down estimating is the fastest route for cost estimation, however it is also considered the most unreliable. It utilises benchmarking against other projects to form a cost estimate. A top-down approach is often used in very early stages of a project and provides as a tool for early decision making. Bottom-up estimating is much more time consuming. It's based on first principles and provides an accurate cost of a project by understanding the specific task requirements and program duration. A bottom-up approach is used when a detailed design is available and is usually used for the budget when construction commences. So let's look at three common estimating methods used in construction. To start, we have analogous estimating. When you think analogous, think analogy, simply meaning comparing one thing to another, or in this case, one project to another. For this method, You'll use historical data to find similar projects which have been carried out and use that data as a basis to form your estimate. This is often referred to as a top-down estimate. This estimation method is used when the project is in the early stages and there are limited amounts of information available. Moving on, we have parametric cost estimating. This method uses historical data to provide an estimate on what the project would cost under different conditions. It's achieved by identifying the unit costs from past projects and scaling for the project that you're estimating. For example, square footage. This method is flexible to the level of information available. It is often considered a more accurate approach than analogous estimating. However, it requires data of projects slash activities that are similar and scalable. And lastly, we have bottom-up estimating or first principles estimating. This is the most accurate estimating technique. It's used when the project can be decomposed into manageable tasks, or when a works breakdown structure is available. First principles are applied to the detailed cost estimate. The works are broken down into packages, and estimates are built from the task up, considering task duration and resource requirements. This method is the most time consuming, however offers the most cost certainty. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider clicking the like button. And if you'd like to see each estimation route broken down into more detail, let us know in the comments below. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.